North Korea has invited a Chinese delegation for the upcoming Victory Day as a first official foreign guest since COVID-19. Now, speculations rise over whether this could see the regime gearing up to open up its border after all the pandemic years. Yi kyung reports. After three years and six months, North Korea is to receive its first foreign delegation. It is inviting a Chinese delegation to mark the 70th anniversary of the armistice of the Korean War on Thursday, known as Victory Day by the regime. According to the North Korean Central News Agency on Monday, the invited Chinese delegation is led by Lee Hongzong, a member of the Political Bureau of the Central Committee of the Chinese Communist Party. Lee's rank is lower than that of Lee Chan Shu, then Chinese top legislator who visited the regime in 2018 for the 70th anniversary of the foundation of the communist state. But his visit will mark the very first official visit by foreign guests in a shift in policy. Since the COVID-19 outbreak in 2020, North Korea has closed its borders, only partially resuming cargo transportation with China last year. The only known case of foreign guests visiting the regime was back in March when China's new ambassador to North Korea, Wang Yajun, took up the post. North Korea has also been taking part in international events with ambassador-level representatives already overseas. This includes the ASEAN Regional Forum for the past three years, with this year's forum also attended by its ambassador to Indonesia, Ang Gwang-il, instead of its foreign minister, Choi son hee Observers largely see the North's first post-pandemic foreign guests coming from China as an apparent show of their ties against South Korea, the U.S. and Japan. But eyes are on whether the two could resume other exchanges, perhaps in flights and trains, or keep it at high-level diplomacy for the time being. Young-un, Arirang News.